Hey guys, it's Eleanor. So, I've been seeing a lot of people complaining about boredom lately and that there's been really no reason to go online because it's boring. <laughs> and for a lot of players, that's very true. I know that a lot of people want quests as well, but let's be real. We're gonna finish the quest in like a day or two and then we're right back where we started, with nothing to do. But still, there are a lot of features in the game and a lot of things to do. We just don't see them because they're boring. We don't want to do them anymore. And honestly, I don't even think that the Star Stable team has to spend a lot of resources on improving the game because the features are already there, they just need some tiny adjustments. So I thought I'd make a video on how these features could be improved or tweaked just a little bit so that the older players like myself could get some joy out of them and get overall a better game experience. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing I thought about was achievement rewards. Because we already have these achievements in game, they're fun and all, but nobody bothers to do them because they're not impactful. And I think that if we got rewards for completing these achievements, then maybe it would encourage the players to try new things in the game. I mean, I personally enjoyed the spider and token collections. The difference with the collections though is that you can cheat on those. You can just search it up on YouTube, someone doing it. And you can get the answers to where all the spiders are and where all the tokens are. But with achievements, you can't really cheat because it's something you have to do in the game to complete the achievements. So you will always have tasks to return to when you get bored. The only difference is that you'll get rewards for them. So they will kind of work like quests, just that they don't appear in the quest log. I think that would be great. And I was thinking maybe rewards could depend on the type of achievement, maybe like racing achievements could give you a certain amount of horse XP. Or some social achievements could give you player XP. There are many things in game that could be set as rewards. And this would make the game so much more interesting by far. The next thing I want to talk about is group training. I've heard a lot of people talking about this and I thought I'd jump on that train because it's a great idea that would add a lot of gameplay, seriously. Training horses, it's okay on its own, but it gets pretty boring pretty fast. Championships, on the other hand, don't really get boring as easily. And we have group races, but we don't get any rewards from those. An easy way to make this idea happen is to just add some horse XP to the group races. But I think we should have the same opportunity with all the races. But overall, I think that training would be so much fun and so much more social. I mean, in the end, what is even the point of an online game if there's barely any social activities? Seriously, fix this SSO, please. Another thing that you add in game is swimming. I don't really understand why they don't have swimming in the game, because I know that in the original Star Stable games, there were actually swimming, and there's no reason to cut it out. If we wander into restricted areas, why not just add an invisible wall or restricted area notifications and send us back home like they do otherwise? I know for a fact that a lot of people do wish for swimming in the game. And it's not just because it's a feature that we feel like we should have, but it's also something that would remove a lot of annoyance. For example, why can't we just swim across the Silver Song River instead of having to go all the way around? It will be so much easier. And it's not like we don't have swimming in game anyway. We have it at the Fort Pinta beach, we just don't have it otherwise. And swimming would give us the opportunity to explore new places, like the islands that are pretty hard to get to, like Broken Tooth Island. And that one island that we can't reach from South Hoof. And I imagine there being challenges such as swimming from South Hoof to Fort Pinta as well. And even though this is not something that would add a lot of gameplay, I'm still confident that this is a feature that would give the player something to do, at least for some time, and enjoy playing around with it. Okay, next up we have repetition rewards, which is kind of similar to the idea with uh, achievement rewards, because, let's be honest, nobody really do daily quests unless they have to. If you're like me, you don't go around maxing your reputation, because at the end of the day, it doesn't add anything to the game. Unless you got reputation rewards. 
I'm thinking player XP for this one because it does make sense that you as a person gain experience when proving your worth to someone, which you basically are doing in the game. So when your reputation increases, so should your experience, right? It doesn't have to be a lot, maybe even just like 10-15 XP per reputation level. It's not a lot, but that's just what it takes to make you motivated. I mean, if you knew that you could get XP from increasing your reputation, wouldn't you do it? I know I would. I also want to talk a little bit about the rescue ranch on South Hoof, because those quests were great. I really enjoyed doing them, and I really wish that we could keep doing those kind of quests. But because I know that the SSO team has limited resources, I want to keep this video simple, which means no quests, only adjustments. So first of all, the biggest problem with the rescue ranch is that you can't actually use it after you finish the quests. I wish that you can use the feeding station and the washing station on your own horse. I'm not quite sure if this is possible if the ranch is your home stable, so do correct me if I'm wrong. And if it's not too much to ask, I'd also love to see foals appearing on South Hoof that are injured and need our help, so that we can keep doing these kind of quests. I mean, a lot of the players in game are big horse fans, they would probably love to keep helping the foals, or at the very least to get to use the ranch. Right now it's just standing there empty anyway, so we might as well just put it to some use. So the next thing I want to talk about is improved archaeology. And I know archaeology is boring. Once I finish the archaeology collection quests, I put that pickaxe in my closet and never looked at it again. That spectacular dino skeleton, that was my worst enemy. And I have two accounts, so I had to collect it twice. It was a nightmare. But anyway, it's still a feature that exists in game. It's just that you don't want to do it when you're bored because you've finished the quest, you have collected the sets and you've done all you can do with the archaeology. So I've come up with two ways that I think archaeology could be improved to remain somewhat interesting after finishing the quests. The first thing is to give us optional rewards. Instead of a standard reward that we're really not interested to work for, we can choose between a selection of rewards. For example, horse XP, Jorvik shillings, maybe some gear or some tradables like we get today. You can still get Jorvik shillings from archaeology today and you can get reputation points, but it's so slow, you don't want to do it. And the other thing is that we can dig up items that we can actually use. Today, we only get tradables and trash from the archaeology rocks. I don't know about you, but I'd love to find like a random horseshoe or a pair of glasses once in a while, just so that I have something to show for it. Or a larger amount of Yorvik shillings, because that would make sense to dig up, and it would pay you for the hard work. And now that they're giving us some furniture in game, maybe even an old lamp or something for future use, I just find it ridiculous that they have this feature in game and there's absolutely no reason to keep doing it. It's just there. And this kind of ties up to the last thing I want to talk about, which is what I like to call questless fishing. And I know what you're thinking, fishing is boring. And I agree, fishing is boring. But it's a feature that we have in game that's pretty much going to waste as of today. I mean, you can only fish through daily fishing quests and you don't even get to keep the fish. I think that the SSO team should allow us to fish on our own when we get our fishing license. Because seriously, this is such a waste of a game feature when we can't even actually use it ourselves. I mean, we could go fishing together and then eat it like any other food. Maybe around a campfire or a picnic. It would be pretty cozy and nice. Or we could sell the fish for Yorvik shillings. I mean, okay, let's be honest. Fishing is not popular, it's boring. But we have food in game. And fish is food, so I th when we have fishing in game, I think we should be able to go fishing and eat the fish. Why can't we fish outside of daily quests? It's so stupid. Why does it exist? I'm sorry, I got kind of carried away, but you get my point. So that's it guys, that was all the ideas I had for you today. Feel free to comment down below if you have any thoughts or suggestions of this. I'd love to hear it. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I'll see you around. Until then, bye.